Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy Samson Biggs, and we are here with another video. So it turns out QAnon is making a comeback with its satanic conspiracy theories. Let's check this video out, and then we'll discuss. Remember this phrase from the 1980s, satanic panic? It was sort of shorthand for a slew of false accusations that children were involved in satanic rituals. Yeah, well, now the conspiracy is making a comeback online, and this is thanks to uh, groups like QAnon. You know that name. NBC News senior reporter Brandy Zdrozny covers extremism and the internet for us and joins us now. So, Brandy, in your story, you highlight the story of a Republican who's running for re-election in Utah. Help us understand the connection here. Well, this Republican prosecutor was running for re-election in Utah. He was the top prosecutor. He was pretty progressive. Um, some people labeled him soft on crime, um, but he was an upstanding Mormon guy, pillar of the community. And what had happened was these old allegations made in the 90s and the early aughts were sort of brought up again by political foes, by someone who he was extraditing from another country, and weaponized against him. These allegations are wild. They are, um, are very unlikely to be true. And um, unfortunately, what happened was they people got them in public records requests and spilled them all over the internet. He had to come forward into his real life and say, neither I nor my wife, who is a professor at BYU, is, are doing these things, cannibalizing children, you know, murdering children, things too awful to even think about. And because of that, in part, he lost the election. You and I have worked on some of these QAnon stories together. We know how these things can just go viral for no reason. Um, I heard that you're reporting that Astro World, the music festival last year, which is where 10 people were killed, is also involved in some of this conspiracy theory? Yeah, well, Kate, the thing is, is that now, because of the internet, ferreting out Satan is now sort of a participatory misinformation quest. And so a thing like Astro World happens, and something terrible happens and so it's not just enough that something terrible happens it's that Satan is somehow involved in it and people are seeing symbols and somehow signs piecing together parts of social media and it's not just things like Astro World right it can happen in any sort of situation so we're seeing that sort of satanic labeling and piecing together clues happening in all sorts of um, situations and events it's it's pretty widespread now very disturbing. Brandy, Brandy Zadradny, thank you so much. Appreciate it. See, here's the thing. There is so many people. I just went for a walk, so I'm sweating still. <laughs> there are so many people that are believers in ghosts, evil spirits, demons, angels, gods. Like... And here's the problem with Americans, uh, and just not just Americans, but people around the world. Um, you can't have it both ways. You can't have the president saying, may God bless America, and then be surprised that people believe in God. Um, you know, and if people believe in God, most likely they believe in a devil. And if they believe in a devil, then it's quite easy for them to believe that when bad things happen, that it's the devil or it's an evil spirit doing it. Um, and, and this is the problem with uh, when you mix politics and religion. Um, well, this is just what happens when you have religion, right? Religion is people believe in supernatural, right? And... This is the, the problem is that you can just say anything, right? Somebody can be like, I saw a star before that murder happened. And so it, it was it was the devil who did that. Or it's especially in the black community, right? In the black community, everything is, you know, uh, uh, everything is satanic. If, you know, Beyonce has a concert, she's doing something satanic. If uh, uh, you see this, it's satanic. And even, here's the thing. A lot of musicians like to use this whole satanic thing as fodder. I, I'm one of them, right? I don't believe in, in spirit. I, I don't believe in, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in spirits. I don't believe in ghosts. But I make music. And I say that 
God did this, or I say that the devil did this, or I say this, because I know that there's so many of people out there that believe this crap. And it's funny to mess with them. <laughs> it really is funny to mess with people that believe in just the stupidest stuff. It's like once you learn that Santa Claus isn't real, once you grow up, you you understand that these spiritual things that people believe in, it's just not real. But so many people believe in it. And the problem is America has this this thing where they want they say they put God in everything. I mean, look, on our money, it says in God we trust. You can't have God without the devil. It's just the way they go together. It's it's part of the Bible, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? So this is why it's going to be so hard to deal with these QAnon people. Is because these QAnon people are everyday people. Let's be honest. When you're talking to random people on the street and you start asking them about God, most likely they're going to be like, yeah, I believe in God. Or, yeah, I go to church. Or yeah, I believe in this. I believe in that. Uh, even hardcore gangster people that just be bugging out doing the stupidest stuff still deep down within their psyche, they still believe, you know, you'll get some, you know, body on the internet, you know, as a sex worker, and just doing the freakiest stuff, but still, they still have a belief in God. Like, it doesn't... <laughs> so, it's this is the thing. You can't... As long as you say, you know, as long as you believe in God, just expect there's going to be belief in the devil. And as long as bad things happen, people are going to blame the devil. And then in politics, it's easy to just say... If some scandalous person is trying to throw dirt on their opponent, they can just say, hey, that person eats children and it drinks the blood and gives the thing. It makes a, 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 a you know, a blessing for Satan and other people are going to believe it. And once it's typed out on the Internet, guess what? More people are going to believe it. So it's really just, it's, it's stupidity. It's, it's this old belief in religion, this old belief in spiritual stuff. The only way that you're ever going to stop it is you just got to stop babying people. And you got to just stop saying, stop, you know, trying to have it both ways. You got to tell people, hey, you're believing in some, it's, it's, it's fake. It's fake. Everything you believe in is fake. And I know it hurts your feelings and I know it pisses you off. But guess what? I'm sorry. It's the way it is. When I was a kid, I learned that Santa Claus wasn't real. <laughs> it pissed me off when I found out that Santa Claus wasn't real. But my mom ended up telling me, she says, hey, look, you're old enough now. You need to know Santa Claus isn't real. I'm buying your presents. That's, I'm the one spending the money on your presents. Nobody's climbing down no chimney. We're poor. We don't even have a chimney. <laughs> and grownups, you got to treat grownups the same way. You got to say, when somebody says, oh, the demons made him kill somebody. No, the demons didn't make him kill nobody. He chose to kill somebody. He couldn't control his mind. He couldn't control his actions. Or he was just... Uh, twisted and demented, but it was him or her. It was them. It wasn't some evil spirit that makes people do bad things. People do bad things. Don't blame some supernatural thing, okay? Astro World. There was no evil spirit making Astro World do what it, what happened at Astro World. It was just a bunch of crazy people at a concert that were packed in and they started going crazy and people got hurt. Because of recklessness. I just did a video about being cautious, right? If you're cautious, you're not going to be in that situation. You'll never find me in a sea of people. I'm not going to be the one at the front row at the concert. Never. No artist is that big enough for me to want to stand in the middle of a group of people. You know, I don't even like standing in uh, uh, groups of people in the street. Why am I going to go to a concert and stand in the middle of a crowd where I can't even move around? That's personal responsibility, guys. Personal responsibility. Stop blaming the spirits. Stop blaming something else. 
take responsibility and point out responsibility. It's your boy, Samson Biggs, and we'll be analyzing all kinds of stuff, news. Uh, uh, we'll be analyzing uh, music. We'll be analyzing uh, 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 entertainment, food, you name it. I'll do whatever I want on my channel. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll be back with more videos shortly.